What if one man's ideas laid the foundation for modern engineering? A man who dared to question the greatest philosopher of all time, who envisioned technology centuries ahead of his era. This is the story of Sir Francis Bacon, a visionary who challenged tradition and set humanity on the path to innovation. Without Francis Bacon, it's unlikely that engineering as we know it would exist today. A bright boy from a wealthy family born in London in 1561, he went up to Trinity College, Cambridge, aged 12. Two people would change his life. The first was Queen Elizabeth, whose favor ensured him access to the top of society. The second had been dead for almost 2,000 years, ancient Greek philosopher Aristotle. Bacon admired Aristotle's use of reasoning, but rejected his philosophy as needlessly complicating nature. In 1584, Bacon was elected to Parliament. Promotions and power came rapidly to him, but his glittering career ended in disgrace when he was accused of taking bribes and barred from Parliament. But his fall gave Bacon the chance to reopen debate with Aristotle. In 1620, he laid out what we today call the scientific method, refuting Aristotelian philosophy in favor of practical investigation. Bacon maintained that everything could be understood by examining and recording nature and undertaking experiments to draw out the truth by inductive reasoning. Experiments allowed the scientists to create a hypothesis and then test it against nature. This was a revolution. Published after Bacon's death in 1626, his novel New Atlantis describes the advances he hoped the scientific method would bring. He foresaw skyscrapers, air conditioning, telephones, submarines and aeroplanes, and food is kept fresh by using refrigeration. And it was refrigeration that finally did for Francis Bacon. On a freezing day in 1626, Bacon stuffed a chicken with snow to try to slow the process of decay. The chicken was preserved, but Bacon caught a bad case of pneumonia and died, a victim of his own scientific method. But it is a method that has ever since formed the foundation of modern science. <laughs>